G'day, and welcome back to another exciting adventure of Laxon with Letter and Steve. Where are we today, Letter? We're at Jobiel Peterson Dam um, near Mergon, yep, Queensland. Mergon, Queensland. We're actually at the Yarra Kula Caravan Park. Um, we never heard of this place before, have we, Letter? No, never. And then we're looking. Nice for, surprise. Looking for somewhere nice to visit. And yeah, we come across this beauty. The Joe B. Oki Peterson Dam covers 2,500 hectares. It's known for its water sports, fishing, swimming, skiing. Um, you can catch bass and yellow belly here are the most common. There's a ta fish tagging and monitoring plan in operation. And it's tagging bass and yellow belly. The purpose of the program is to monitor movement, growth, conditions of fish stock and waterways. Just caught some red claw. Yeah, red claw. It's a bit low at the moment, but still plenty of people on boats, so... Out fishing? Yeah. Caravan park? Well, It's huge. It's huge. Has a pool, basketball, tennis court, ball court. Um... <laughs> Facilities, nice and clean. All different types of accommodation, everything from just a non powered campsite up to a full cabin with all the trimmings. So, this is one of the styles of cabins that you can um, stay in while you're at uh, Joe B. Oki Peterson Dam, or commonly known as BP Dam, at the Yarrakul Caravan Park. As you can see, there's a whole row of them over there. All got fire pits out the front, looking lovely. And from there, they have a nice view. Of the dam. Some cabins right near the water, or not, well, overlooking the water. Um, but there's nice spots for camping if you don't have, if you're set up for your own power and toilets and shower, there's some nice... Yeah. So we decided this, this time we would actually go onto a caravan site with an ensuite. And they are huge, very clean, very tidy en suites, aren't they? Definitely, yeah. Yeah. It's got a corner shop, a little shop here as well. Um, carry all the um, necessities that you need. The staff are absolutely friendly. Can't do enough for you. Um, everybody seems to be real social. Huge on wildlife. Mm. So many different varieties of birds, rosellas, and that around here this time of the year. Yeah. One
the other things that we like about this place too is that, yeah, it's officially a caravan park, but you can have campfires on your site. The only things that they ask is that they're either in a fire pit that's provided, um, or your fire pit that you bring yourself must be up off the ground. So here we are in a caravan park. You can get powered sites, non-powered as we said, and we're having a caravan, we're having campfires every single night. Still we're cooking with a camp oven. Dog friendly, so you can bring your, your Pet dog. Pet friendly, yeah. Dogs are on the lead. Pickles loves it. Oh, she's sleeping um, at the moment. Yeah, she's had a big day, poor Pickles. Yeah. She's getting old. So what we thought we might do is we might go around and have a look at the park and show you a bit more of the park. Sounds good. Sounds good? Yep, I'd like mm. to explore a bit more too. Okay, so let's go for a wander, shall we? Joe Bioki Peterson Dam. How beautiful and tranquil is it? The water is beautiful and glass. So, just outside the amenities blocks. So, here we are at the shower blocks at Yarrakula Caravan Park. As you can see, very clean, very tidy. You might even be able to hear they have music playing as well. Plenty of room for everybody. Of course, this is the men's and they cater for the disabled as well. It has four barbecue plates, little camp oven, an electric barbecue, a kettle, hand towel, tables and there's some more down that end so if there was a group of yous you could really come down here and have a really good time it also has the traditional clotheslines laundries and all that sort of stuff that's our first morning in the caravan park here at Yalakula so I thought I'd cook ourselves a nice breakfast and why not show you what sort of breakfast you can have while you're out so today I'm using the all-for-adventure butane burner fry pan 
I'll do a review on this later. This is an awesome bit of kit. It runs on the butane cylinders. Um, I'm going to use some pita bread, two eggs, some bake, chopped up bacon, some cheese, some tomato, and a bit of oil. Okay, so let's help. So I'm just going to use the leftover cooked bacon from leftover last night. Leftover cooked over last night's pizzas, yeah. Spray a bit of oil. And then you get one of your pita breads, separate them, and place it in there. And what we're trying to achieve is we're trying to achieve to get that nicely cooked on one side. Okay, so the bread should be ready now. So I'm just going to carefully lift that off. Place that on the plate. I'll grab the second one. Place that on there. Don't laugh at me. Okay, what I do is I get a little bit of cheese. Just spread a little bit of cheese. Break the bacon up. Put on as much or as little as you like. I have this and I normally don't have lunch because it's very filling but it's also very nice as well. Then the tomatoes go on top. Put the tomatoes on. Do the tomatoes go normally on top? No, not, not the way I'm doing it. No, you're going to stand I'll do it that way as well. We'll do it that way. Now it's important that you spread it out. Okay. Then make a little hole crack one egg put your egg in there make another little hole very carefully crack Oop. just be careful it wants to slide off then you get your other piece of bread, you put that on, then you can spread some cheese around, put your tomatoes on, put a bit more bacon over the top grab the rest of your cheese grab your cheese on and then put that on and then just let that simmer for about 10 minutes so let's come back when it's finished okay it's been about 10 minutes now so she's ready to Come off the pot here. So let's pull it out and see what we've made here, eh? Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Just turn my stove off here. Okay. So I don't know what you'd call it, whether you'd call it a Lebanese bacon and egg roll or what you'd call it, but. Oh, slipped a little bit. <laughs> and while I'm having my breakfast, Loretta's made herself some toast, avocado and tomato. And some sauce. What's that sauce, Loretta? It's balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar on hers as well. So, again, the only thing I can say is bon appetit. Bon appetit. Steve's just cutting into it. You can see that it's cooked beautifully inside. How's that? Hey, Cut through the egg. Nope, the egg's in there. Oh yeah, there see, see the egg? Egg's cooked beautifully. Look at that. Oh, still runny. There you go. Perfect. Yum for you. 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Love it. So there we are. Just don't really want to go home. No. Be nice to stay for a few more days. It's beautiful here at Jobioki Peterson Dam. Very quiet. Yalakula Caravan Park. They just fed the local parrots on apples. Yep. They came and fed it from my hand, so very nice. So I hope. Uh, You've enjoyed our visit to this beautiful part of the South Burnett and that you remember to like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Instagram and leave us a comment if you've been down here before.
what your thoughts are. Or have you been somewhere else that you think we should go? Leave a comment, attach it down below. We'll do our best to go and have a look. So, from Steve. And Letta. We're going to have a drink. We're going to have a drink. <laughs> All the best. Catch you somewhere else in this big, beautiful country we call Australia. See ya. See ya. Thank you.